Friday, Saturday afternoon at the Smith Center. The Tar Heels would be down 18 with 17-23 left in the second half. Coach, what a great comeback. It really was. Of course, we looked pretty cocky there as we started the game. Everybody's happy, and all of a sudden, we didn't know that Wake would be playing with poise. Jeff McGinnis does make a good drive. I'm surprised you found the highlight in the first half. How many did you get? Uh, Not many. Uh, we're moving the ball. That's one of the few times. Uh, usually it's one pass and a shot. Dante Clavey on a pass from Adamola. Really great passing, but Dante's a shooter, and he's a player. There you go. Hell a little bit, but so is Antoine Jameson doing a great job. But that's about the only basket he had the first half. They did a great job moving without it, but Dante knew where the rule was coming up and drew the charge. Now we're going into the second half. Sir, the first half still, Serge Wicker, the one he made over uh, Tim Duncan. Tim's really a great player. See, Serge had spotted up if Dante, uh, I mean, if Jeff had needed him, but Jeff didn't. And here's, watch Jeff's drive, pretty. And it was kind of the only offense we had is his penetration the first half. And we're better than that. And fortunately, we showed it in the second half. 32-18, Wake Forest led uh, at halftime. And as we said, we're going to get that up to 18 in the second half. Well, we, we started out the second half fine. You know, plays like this, McKinnis to Carter. Offensively, we were fine, but they kept scoring. Peral hit a three, and they got in Duncan. So that was a problem. There's Antoine knocking in that one over Allen. And now you're down 18, Coach. We're 18, and Vince makes a nice drive. Well, I was happy to see him do that. He needs to take it to the basket more and not be a fringe player. Watch this great offense rebound by Antoine Jameson. Dante found Serge open, and Serge will generally make that. And look at that. He gave that up. A Great, another rebound on the weak side by Antoine Jameson. Mm -hmm. And then they had that collision, knocked McGinnis down, three of our guys, and it caused a timeout when the crowd was really going well. Great play by Dante Calabria to Adamola Okalaja. Most guys aren't hunting other people driving in for a layup. With Tim Duncan, that'll make you do it. Miss, but look at Antoine again. And wide open for Jeff, and generally he'll make that. Now Jeff's going to the basket. Great play. What's the score there? That's a 10-point game at that point, Coach. A lot of time left. We weren't supposed to look at the score. I'll bet they did. What a nice drive here by Calabria. That made it, uh, what, 47-39, about 10 left. This first time they went to the zone, Ademola went high-low to Antoine Jameson. Then they stayed in the zone again here. And Dante found an open Jeff McGinnis. They were trying to change. It's a good idea to change the momentum. And we were fortunately getting it inside. Look at a great rebound. Adamola could have gone on up. And after Dante makes this three, it's unbelievably 51-47, just under seven minutes. And, of course, I'm afraid the crowd thought we had a one, but we didn't. And there, what a play that was. McGinnis to Calabria to Carter. All three of them had great plays. You can see the game coach of the Pets at the 51-49. Yeah, challenging dunk. I'm glad Benson go ahead for the dunk and run on underneath. But it was noisy in there. Our crowd was great. Vince up over Peral. And now, look at that. A great pass. This is a big one. Finally get the lead. 224 to play. Automola knocks in a three. But they come back, watch this shot of Rutland. That put them up by one, and what courage he showed. But then so did Jeff again as with that that puts us up. 58, 57, 109. Yeah. And now we need to stop. We got it. And of course, we made some foul shots. This is the end of the game. I'm um, a great play by McGinnis to Carter. Wish we wouldn't. We are happy and celebrated maybe too much. But where we were, didn't expect that, did you, John? No, we did not. 65-59, a great comeback win for the Tar Heels.